The 80s started with the birth of cable news with the debut of CNN and the death of John Lennon. 52 Americans held hostage for 444 days in Iran were released in 1981. Also that year, an estimated 750 million tuned in to watch Prince Charles marry Diana in Britain. In an attempted assassination, President Ronald Reagan was shot, and just over a month later, then-Pope John Paul II was also shot in an attempted assassination in Vatican City. IBM debuted its first personal computer. The first compact disc was in 1982. The Cold War thaw started in 1985 when Reagan and Gorbachev met at the Geneva summit. But the 80s were also the decade of the Iran-Contra affair. It was the 80s equivalent of Watergate. Spaceflight tragedy struck when the Challenger exploded in January 1986. A couple of months later, two million people were affected by radiation with a nuclear plant explosion in Chernobyl, Ukraine. The world was captivated for days when 18-month-old baby Jessica fell into an abandoned water well in 1987. She was stuck there for three days until rescuers were finally successful reaching her. The worst earthquake in the U.S. since 1906 struck in San Francisco in 1989, right before Game 3 of the World Series. On November 9, 1989, the Berlin Wall started coming down, symbolizing the end of a nearly 30-year division of East and West Germany. In sports, it was a miracle on ice when the USA hockey team defeated the Soviet Union in the semifinals of the Winter Olympics. Magic Johnson and Larry Bird lit it up on the basketball court. Jack Nicholas won his sixth Masters title in 1986. American diver Greg Louganis hit his head on the diving board in the 88th Summer Olympics. The University of Houston's men's basketball team was dubbed Pi Slamma Jamma when Hakeem Olajuwon, Clyde Drexler, and their teammates electrified the NCAA Final Four with three straight appearances. Carl Lewis became a track and field sensation, winning multiple gold and silver medals in two of his four Olympics. And on the pitcher's mound, Nolan Ryan got his 3,000th career strikeout in 1980. Wow, so much happened in the AME I mean, baby Jessica, of course, Prince Charles marrying Diana. I mean, baby Jessica, I remember my family and I glued to the TV for days. I'm so glad that story had a happy ending. I remember when Prince Charles and Diana got married in Britain. That I got up so super early, yeah. and you camped out on my bedroom floor just to watch it. Yeah. Well, in good times and bad, that was a great uh, look back at some of the major events that happened in news and pop culture back in the 80s. But uh, maybe we should lighten things up just a little bit, Jennifer Broom. What do you think? Go with our outfits today. So here to take us back in time throughout today's show with some 80s hit songs, singing "Take On Me." Please welcome 80s cover band Fender Pants.
my favorite songs, by the way. Susie, why Come don't you get on up. up here along with MCDX? We want to introduce the band. We got Kyle on guitar, Kelly on keys and bass, and Mike B on the drums. You guys are so much fun to watch. Tell us about how you formed back in 2005. Oh, I was actually. Uh... <laughs> Well, it was a long story. Uh, I moved here from uh, from New Orleans and uh, saw what the cover band scenes were doing here, and I wanted to spruce it up with some costumes. So when we started, we did everything. And uh, House Blues called us when they opened up, and uh, they were like, hey, we want you to play our first New Year's Eve, and we were all excited about it. We were great. And then two weeks before the show, we read the Houston Press, and we see that totally 80s Thunderpants we play in House of Blues. So in two weeks, we had to learn a whole 80s set. Holy cow. And ever oh, since wow. then, we've been an 80s band. So Susie Q, it looks like you guys, I mean, you're full of energy, you're jumping around, you're getting a full workout as you're performing, aren't you? Absolutely. Yeah, we are. And everybody that comes and sees us feels the same way. Like you said, it takes us back to high school. We feel great, we start dancing, and we're party man, that's what we do. It's got to be so much fun. To date, you guys, I understand, have played more than 500 shows. Wow. You've got a show coming up tomorrow at Chemo Boardwalk? That's that is right. correct, yes. for Friday fireworks. And then on Saturday up in Cyprus? Yes, sir, right. Mo Moe's Irish Pub. So if people want to come out and see you, they can go to either of those places. We've got some information on your screen right now. Thunderpantsband.com is the website to visit if you would like to keep up with this energetic bunch. Guys, thank you so much for yeah, stopping thanks. by. We're going to let oh, you guys you get much. reset because I know us. you guys have another song for us in just a second. Um, hey, so again, Thunderpantsband.com is the website. Coming up next, if you want to pull off the perfect thriller dance, you know, you got to get the steps to match. You guys remember the red, of course you do, the red jacket with zippers, that's coming up after the break. Yeah, but before we go to break, how about you guys play us one more song? Sure. Iran? Absolutely. Cool. And have no fear, guys, because uh, Thunderpants is sticking around uh, for the rest of the show to play even more hits. That was my nickname in high school, by the way, Thunderpants. Yeah, it was.